Welcome. This is another episode of Marketing Monday. I am Lynn Weinman, the president and founder of Kid Glove, and I have invited two expert guests, Gam, Graham Panzing Brooks and Kyle Cartwright, the founders of Sea Change, to join me today to share the what, why, and how of becoming a certified B Corporation. I know from talking with many of you, uh, there's a lot of interest in becoming a certified B Corp, but you may just not know what it takes or why you should consider it. And these are the guys who can answer your questions. So let's start with you, Graham. Um, could you just start by explaining what B Corp certification is? Yeah, and, and first, thanks so much, Lynn. We're really thrilled to be here and uh, really excited to have the chance to talk with you today and talk about something that we are all passionate about, I think, all three of us on this call. Um, and excited excited to be talking through this. So, so B, B Corp certification is, uh, is a really unique process. It's a, it's a third party verification. And so similar to LEED certified green buildings or US fair trade, it's a process where you can take your business through this third party assessment and third party verification. And they lift the hood on your organization and take a look top to bottom within the organization to, to start being able to understand what, what makes your organization tick and how purpose is how the purpose is embedded in all the layers of the organization. And so B Corp certification is a process is, is a is at times a lengthy process and a challenging process. Uh, but it's a way to really help signal to consumers, to other businesses, that you are truly living those values, that you are truly living uh, a, a purpose-oriented mentality and a way to help differentiate between those that are that are that are truly walking the walk and those that, that may be a little bit more of a lip service. And, and so it's a, it's a really important process. There's a lot of organizations out there that folks may be familiar with that have gone through this Patagonia, uh, uh, Tom shoes, Warby Parker, new Belgium brewery brewing. Uh, and so lots of different organizations are really a finding their way to B Corp certification and choosing to go through this process to really sort of uh, begin to take that next step, signal to consumers, signal to employees and team members, signal to, to the, the community as a whole that, that the organization is here to not only be focused on profits, but we're here to focus on purpose as well. You know, Graham, I really love that analogy of lifting the hood and seeing what's underneath because it's really easy to espouse a certain set of core values or a certain set of ideals. Um, and I believe that B Corp really helps um, certify that you are doing what you say you're doing. So Kyle, if you could help us out here, um, B Corp certification is not easy to obtain. Uh, could you just talk a bit more about the benefits of having this certification? Sure. Yeah. And I'll, I'll start by uh, just saying if, if you hear a crying or a laughing baby, a uh, three month old in the background, that's uh, our little guy. He just started laughing. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> I hope we do hear it, Kyle. That yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would make my day. He, he's, he's just in the other room over here. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see. Get some uh, special effects here. <laughs> Um, so I, I always, you know, I think it, by design, the process is fairly rigorous, right? Because you want uh, consumers and investors and uh, team members, you know, those various stakeholders want to know that the company has gone through a certain level of accountability and, uh, again, rigor to, to ensure that they're walking the walk, that they are uh, uh, living up to what they're saying, the, the values that they're espousing. But I also think that it is very accessible at the same time, right? You know, and and sea change is here to help make it faster and easier. Uh, but just acknowledging from a business coming into this, acknowledging that it takes time. It takes. It starts with a commitment, obviously. Um, and I would say, especially in the Midwest here, what we found in Nebraska and Iowa and other states in this region is that there's already predisposed to many of of these. You know, values and the and the purpose orientation, the sense of interdependence um, between the, the various stakeholders that that a company kind of naturally defines, but maybe needs to do, just document and uh, 
you know, maintain a, a, an additional layer of count accountability in their governance structures for these things. Uh, but all that said, uh, the, the benefits, Graham kind of mentioned, it's a signal, right? It's a signal to the community, to talent that you may be trying to attract. It's a signal to your, your, the team members you already have uh, in, in your organization. It's a signal to companies that we are, we are a good ethical business to work with, uh, whether it's uh, uh, as, an, as a vendor, as a partner, as uh, an employer. So you've shared what it is, you've shared the benefits. Now, can you give everybody a high level overview of what the process looks like and how an organization like Sea Change, how the two of you can really help somebody through the process? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, so again, it, it all starts with a commitment, right? Uh, and an understanding that, that there is more to business than just making money. And I think, again, most businesses in this area and most businesses, period, recognize that. And it's really, this is really giving a framework to understand it and measure it and, and move forward within this framework. And so, you know, whether or not a company decides to become a B Corp or not, the B impact assessment is another just general benefit of, of the process because it really allows a business to further define their values, to measure and understand their impact to, and it generates a ton of ideas uh, on that. So uh, essentially what, what we can do, you know, we've worked with companies who have never taken the B impact assessment and we've worked with companies who've taken it multiple times. Uh, and so that's kind of a, a first step is to just dive into the B impact assessment, start to get familiar with it. And obviously that's something that sea change is very familiar with. And we, we can help give context. We can help drive that process forward faster and, uh, and, and more and more accountably as well, uh, because it is confusing. There's a lot to learn within, within the space, but it is, again, it's, it's doable. Um, so what we find with many of the clients and businesses that we engage is they're usually about 80 to 90% there as far as becoming a, a B Corp themselves, certifying as a B Corp. So, you know, you have to get 80 points on this, this exam, so to speak. And oftentimes it, it really is just a matter of finding some low hanging fruit, documenting practices and commitments that are already intrinsically in place and that just need a little more, um, thought around and, and formalization. And I would say, you know, right now thinking timeline wise, a blessing and a curse is that B lab, which is the certifying body of B corps has seen an unprecedented interest in certifications this year. Uh, so again, really good, but also, uh, from a capacity standpoint, we're finding that the verification process can take many months, uh, quite a bit longer than, than what, you know, businesses in the past have been used to. And so what we're doing is really encouraging businesses that want to get started in this process to, again, just start, just get started ASAP, uh, whether that's by contacting us at Sea Change or running, you know, starting to run through the B Impact Assessment yourself just to get things moving. And then, I'll yeah, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to give you a shout out because you, uh, the two of you and Sea Change have been helping Kid Glove with our B Corp um, certification process. And I'm just going to say that when you first said to me, hey, you have to get 80 points out of 200, I thought, piece of cake, that's only 40%, right? But it's not a piece of cake. It is a very rigorous process. And I, I have really appreciated you guys coming along and walking beside us. So, and I'm sorry, I interrupted you there, but I, I wanted everybody to know how much you've been helping us. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, and yeah, there, you know, 200, 80 out of 200 can easily seem like 40%, right? <laughs> but I think it's worth noting that there are no companies to my knowledge that have 200, right? That's a perfect yeah. score. That's, uh, there, you know, there, there are a million and one ways to express purpose and to, to build this into a business's impact model, but you can't do everything for everyone. You have to be targeted and focused. And so really it's, it's not a, you know, out of a hundred percent, it's, it's, it's a, it's a benchmark for what, the B lab has designated as like, this is a company who has, who has really defined and measured and uh, uh, committed to a sense of purpose and the outcomes that follow that. Absolutely. So Graham, I understand that the two of you as founders of Sea Change, 
you have set a very aggressive goal for increasing the number of certified B Corps. Do you want to talk about that a bit? Yeah, I, I would love to. Thanks, Lynn. Um, we, we have recently launched a, an initiative and our plan is to quadruple the number of B Corps here in Nebraska by the end of 2022. Um, we, as, of, as it, it currently stands, there are four B Corps in Nebraska. We are really excited to be working with you and Kid Glove uh, and are in the process of helping Kid Glove become the fifth certified B Corp in Nebraska. And, uh, and we are looking to continue that process uh, to, to help other organizations move down this path. Our not so secret mission and goal here is to help create uh, and build a community of, of strong business leaders committed to this here in Nebraska and start to rec be recognized for that. We want to make Nebraska the purpose driven capital of America. And, and so we feel that it's important to set some benchmarks for ourselves to be able to say we want to quadruple by the end of next year and continue to look forward and have a mission and a path uh, to really continue to, to help businesses identify ways to move down this path to purpose, uh, to increase that intentionality uh, behind what's intrinsically exists here. Uh, and I think that that's just one of the big things that we're trying to do and focus on uh, is, is that that added layer of intentionality, trying to help figure out how to take it to the next step. Because one of the things with B Corp certification and, and, and the B Corp process is that quite frankly, there's no business, there's, there's no finish line uh, that organizations should continue to pursue, should continue to try to, to grow and develop and, and continue as much as we focus on self-improvement as individuals, there's always more that can be done. And so we try to help figure out how to take that intentionality to the next step to be 1% better today than we were yesterday and continue to push down that path. So we are thrilled to be working with Kid Glove uh, and be able to, uh, to, to help you become the fifth B Corp. And we're, we're hoping to be able to reach that goal of, of um, quadrupling that number by the end of, of 2022. You know, I can't thank you enough for helping us. And we are nearing the finish line. We're, we're in that final assessment and it feels really good. You know, but I have to say two things. I do think businesses based in Nebraska and in the Midwest, we do naturally have, um, you know, that sense of purpose in, in our businesses, I believe. But I know from our work outside of Nebraska, we work in with a number of clients outside of this state, the B Corp certification is, is I think much more popular outside of the state today. Now, when you guys get done, I think that will flip over and I, I admire your goal in that. But one thing that um, we have really noticed is that, you know, you go into Colorado or or other states across the country. And people just instantly ask if you are a certified B Corp, it, it becomes you know, a, a standard uh, that people do expect. So um, appreciate that. Graham, how can people find out more about the Nebraska certified B Corps? Because you mentioned Kid Glove, uh, our goal is to be the fifth, uh, but there's already four. How can people find out about the five the four plus kit glove, as well as just in general, find out more about this purpose-driven movement. Yeah, we, we thanks for asking that. We're really excited because uh, part of the work that we're doing with Sea Change is helping support uh, the development of an organ good. And there's actually a conference coming up next week. And uh, we're thrilled, Lynn, that you'll also be one of the speakers at that event. Um, but Do More Good is, is a great way to, to, to dip your toe in the water about what it means to be a purpose-oriented business. Um, we have speakers coming in from around the country, uh, the, the, the leaders of the largest social enterprise and purpose-oriented business movements that exist today. So actually the, the one of the co-founders of B Lab and the B Corp movement, a co-founder of Conscious Capitalism, a co-founder of, and current, or, uh, excuse me, a current president uh, of 1% for the planet. And so a lot of these thought leaders and uh, individuals that will be able to speak to purpose orientation on a national scale 
But on the second day, on, on the 13th, we're going to be focusing on and celebrating Nebraska-based businesses uh, that are that are walking the walk uh, and, and, and talking the talk. And so uh, we'll have a session for each of the five, uh, four current certified B Corps and uh, including you, Lynn, uh, and then also celebrating other businesses uh, that are that are purpose oriented and doing great work here in our community because again we recognize there's there's so many different paths to purpose that exist and and while we are focused and, and excited about the B Corp framework uh, we we recognize that it's a tool that can help help businesses pursue this but there's so many other ways that 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 purpose can can manifest itself um, and so anyway it, it's a do more good is a really wonderful place to be able to start learning about. Uh, what it means to take a stakeholder uh, business model approach or to be purpose oriented, to be thinking about not just uh, uh, profits, but how purpose can fuel profits and how profit then can fuel purpose. It's the fly flywheel that needs to start spinning um, that will really help transform businesses here uh, in the Midwest and, and across the country. And so uh, we're really excited. Do More Good is May 12th and 13th. Um, and if people are interested, you can go to domoregood.com slash register uh, to get registered for the event, the event and be sure to tune in on the 13th to hear uh, from Lynn uh, and Kid Glove. Um, but then also uh, feel free to reach out to us at Sea Change. It's seachangeltd.com and uh, or, or uh, you know, feel free to drop us a line, find us on, on any of your, your social medias and uh, feel free to reach out. We would love to talk with you about how we can help your organization find ways to add that layer of intentionality. Um, we're, we're thrilled to be working with uh, really wonderful organizations already and are eager to keep moving uh, the needle here here in Nebraska. That's great. Graham, thanks again for that. And Kyle, thank you too. I do have to say, you know, we Kid Glove went into this process really looking for a way to certify what we were already doing. Mm -hmm. And the process itself has also helped us really improve and take things to the next level. I mean, the 1%, you know, initiative that you mentioned, just continually getting better knowing more, refining our processes, even just formalizing things that we were, were just doing before, but making it a written part of, of who we are and what we do. So I really appreciate it. Hey, we are, are ending, uh, running out of time here today, but you guys, I really appreciate your time. Anybody who has questions, please drop them in the comments. And if you are looking for additional resources on purpose-driven marketing, please be sure to check out kidglove.com. And if you go to the navigation under expertise, you will see a page for purpose-driven marketing where you can find blog posts and case studies and uh, podcasts. As a matter of fact, a podcast uh, in our podcast list from Sea Change as well with more information. Make sure to check out the Do More Good conference. And uh, just keep joining us for Marketing Mondays. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Thank you, Thanks, Lynn. Lynn. It's great Thanks, to be with guys. you. <laughs> Thanks, everyone.